Good morning, guys. It's Lori. I realize I didn't do a, an HCG update this weekend. I'm probably not going to do that kind of video on the weekends. I'm just going to do that like through the week. So that way I can have a couple days off from taking pictures of my food and all that good stuff. <laughs> but I did stay on plan. Uh, I can kind of tell you what I ate Friday. I had um, I had made some ground beef. I just browned it up in a pan with some salt and pepper and some peppers and onions and um, put a little tomato paste in it, mixed it all together. It was sort of like chili meat, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to call it, but that's what it was. I ate that and actually on Friday I had some almonds too. After I got home, I was really hungry and I'm like, yeah. I need something real quick so I just had had a handful of almonds and I eat that sometimes on the HCG 2.0 so yeah um, Saturday I just cooked up some chicken breast I cut it into strips and cooked it up and not breaded or anything like that just cooked it up in a skillet with some seasoned salt and yeah and that was about it I just let it cook until it was nice and tender and we put that on top of salads so I'm actually not sure how John ate his. He might not have put his on a salad, but I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I had on Saturday. And yesterday I had the same thing. So, I had a boiled egg. Oh, I had a boiled egg at some point. I put a boiled egg on my salad too. I don't know. But anyways, on the weekends, I tend to drink a lot of coffee. Like, a lot more than usual. So, it's pretty typical of me not to have a big huge drop on Mondays. So what is my weigh-in for the entire weekend? I'm gonna put that up right here for you guys. I am down 0.6 for the entire weekend and I am very much okay with that because I expect it pretty much. I still use the half and half. I know that's not allowed. So, you know, other than that, I'm gonna insert a clip of something that John picked up for me at the store yesterday. He went to get the oil changed and I explained all that in the clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. It's uh, something, it's, it's not food whatsoever. It's just something I thought might be of interest to you right now, especially as far as cleaning and disinfecting for viruses, germs, you know, stuff like that. So here's the clip. Hey guys, it's Lori, just a quick little something. If you guys are looking for some kind of disinfectant spray or cleaner spray or something like that, you can't seem to find it anywhere and you really need something, don't forget about your automotive departments at Walmart because John just went to Walmart to get the oil changed and it takes him forever. So he was out looking around the stores, kind of checking everything out, seeing what was all empty. Pretty much everything that's been Six empty times. for the last few days, huh? Six times. Six times, yeah. It took a, it took a really long time. But anyway. Pretty much everything that was empty a couple days ago is still empty now. Today is Sunday, uh, March 15th. So, because I'm not sure when I'm gonna add this clip in, but this right here, it's called Spray 9, and it is a heavy duty cleaner and degreaser. It disinfects, kills viruses, removes mold and mildew in 45 seconds. It is, I believe, I believe ammonia. So you don't, this isn't something you wanna use with bleach at all, by any means. It is the dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride is the active ingredient in this. And it it smells better than, uh, uh, what do you call it? LA's Totally Awesome degreaser from Dollar Tree. And I'm certain that it works better as far as a disinfectant. It doesn't smell fabulous or anything, but I can see where it would smell clean after you're done using it. So there's this, and if you can't find any paper towels, don't forget about your automotive section because they had a lot of these. So this is something that I went ahead and picked, I told him to go ahead and pick up how much was, this was like $3 and yeah. something, right? But these are kind of heavy duty towels, all purpose, multi-purpose. I mean, they, they, no, I'm not going to flush them for heaven's sakes. No, but I'm afraid of running out of my, um, my cleaning wipes, my um, disinfectant wipes that I use for work. And if I do, I can always use these because these can be used wet and they're still strong enough. They don't like fall apart like a cheap paper towel would. But I could use these for a disinfectant wipe. I could use these on um, glass, on uh, mirrors, stuff like that too and see how that works out. And yeah, I mean, this in combination with this, 
I've got my disinfectant wipes right here. So I'm set there. And there's a lot of towels on these. There has to be, I don't know if it says like how many towels are on here, but 55 chiffons, what's that mean? <laughs> 55 towels, there's 110 towels total. So there's 55 towels per roll. So what's that? I was wondering if it was two or four rolls. It's two rolls, yeah. But yeah, so you know, just a little something, little tip for you. So that was it for today, guys. I'm gonna make it, I don't know how short it's gonna be, probably not super short. Anyways, <laughs> once I put the clip in. So that's everything for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.